Hi, this is Dan Howard for Envirospec to Western Pennsylvania. We're in the basement of a split entry, and as we look around the outside edge, you know, it doesn't look like there's any mold issues or problems on the walls, and actually it's a pretty clean looking place. But very often, I land up talking with people about the fact that it's not what's on the walls that, that can hurt us or make us ill or affect our health in any way. It's what's hiding behind the walls. And uh, as you say, you can clearly see, there really isn't a whole bunch of mold or visible stuff here on this. But we can, in this particular case, get behind the area where the mold is and look at the walls. And as we go back here, you're going to find this absolutely amazing that we have a tremendous amount of mold growing on the bottom of each of these walls. Again, what's happening here is these areas, and in particular behind the walls that are in the outside walls, are in a place where things can't dry out. In other words, water comes in, it stays there, and we get the mold growing. What really concerns us is, you can see this is a black, black mold. And we haven't swabbed it or tested it yet, so we can't say for sure which variety of mold is, but it's highly likely the toxic molds. And um, what we're going to end up doing is taking a swab. This will go to the lab. We also took an air test in here, which you can see right here. And those results will come in, and that'll tell us a little bit about what's floating in the air. We also managed to see there were some other fuzzy areas or areas that appear to have mold throughout the place. What's interesting, and you just look over here, that's a different color over near the front. Um, different areas and different moisture and different parts of the dry. As you see, we have black starting up and we go to a yellowish green up here. Um, different molds like different environments. And as I said, the ones that will really make us seal prefer the very wet environments. So, the lesson here is, it isn't what we see on the front of the wall that concerns us. It's what's hiding behind the walls and the areas where paper are and wood are that can support the growth of mold that makes us concerned. Because even if we can't see it, there might be mold there, and that mold can affect our health and that of our family. This is Dan Howard for Envirospect of Western Pennsylvania. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye-bye.